that's the, the heart of the, some of the problems of the research project. So Barbarella and the comics that follow it and copy it obviously exaggerate and play with the sexism of pin-up material from the 1960s. To, to some extent that's satirical and opening a critique of the latent sexism in the older comics but obviously it's also being read by hundreds of young men for very trivial sexist reasons. So the materials are, have many discourses in them, but, but clearly sexism is, is one of them. Uh, I guess the, the, the explosion of the materials by the, by the end of the 1960s starts to feed into an internal critique from uh, feminist positions. And part of the project, we've been recovering forgotten women's voices, also contributing to Pulp Pop. And I was watching Mother Field is, is film history, and there's a famous French film by Tavernier, his, his first film called The Watchmaker of St. Paul, from about 1974. And the, the vile character in it is a, a fascist policeman, and uh, he's shown to be a horrible person and in his flat uh, Tavernier deliberately puts up lots of pin-up posters so I see that moment as the kind of end of an era of that as an acceptable discourse in France. On, on, the, on the second part of your question, contemporary graphic novels tend to be more uh, aligned to readership groups so you will have uh, works by women writers and artists that often focus on issues to do with women's lives or work from uh, uh, stories of migration or cultural difference. So I'd say in the contemporary field uh, that that whole era that we're researching is to some extent disappeared. Uh, apart from the long-term visual effects that I was talking about in the earlier answer. It's a shame because there were important experimental work and also women contributed from an internal critique that fed into the, the feminism of the 1970s. So Delphine Seyrig, who was a French actress, played in many forms of cinema, including B-movies, but she was also in the comics fan world and she produced one of the most important uh, feminist critiques of Hollywood in a famous film from the 70s, a documentary called Be, Be Quiet and Shut Up, mm -hmm. which allowed women uh, actors to talk about their experiences of Hollywood for a, from a critical point of view for, for the first time. So I think it's interesting today because it sometimes feels like every generation feels it needs to refight battles that have already uh, taken place, but maybe they need to, and that's the tragedy of history. <laughs>